2014, you see, in 2014, a problem came up with regard to, we had a seminar in Vigyan Bhavan with regard to transgenders. They are feeling the pride that we are unidentifiable. Nobody bothers about us. And you see, remember, everyone, whatever he is, whatever she is, is search of an identity. Today you are also searching for an identity, what I am to going to be. A transgender also wanted to search for an identity, a gender crisis, because he wanted to have a, he or she wanted to have a constitutional identity. Then the National Legal Service Authority took up the matter. There's a concept called social interest litigation. You might be reading in papers about the public interest litigation, but as far as NASA files a case, it's a social interest litigation. A social interest litigation was filed, and the court said the transgenders will be conferred, the, are called a third gender. They can have the entry as third gender because that's the self-determination and that is the personal autonomy of an individual. Without personal autonomy, you are sans dignity, without dignity. And that is what the court pronounced. It might be looking quite stale today after two and a half years have passed, but at that time it created quite a stir that the court is saying that they will be treated as third gender and there is personal autonomy. You see, now let's come to no address on individual dignity will be complete without uh, speaking about uh, ladies. It's not, uh, Supreme Court has said that the right to procreate is a personal choice and personal right of a woman. And with regard to gender sensitivity, you see, it's a phenomenon in many countries, particularly in India, the problem was addressed with regard to if teasing. The court said once you try, engage in if teasing, it has not yet become an offense by then. It leads to serious troubles. The girls commit, sometimes they commit suicide. They feel so depraved by such kind of if teasing that lack of insensitivity, lack of sensitivity on the part of the person who is engaged in that is deplorable. Here I will tell you something I had promised Madam Luthra and Rav, Professor Ray. But when I go, I'll speak to the children. You see, please don't judge I am partial. I am not. Women have got more abilities than men. <laughs> I have, I am not referring to the constitution. I am not referring to the constitution. This is a, this is a digression. Puri baat to sunlo. You see, why? I read it in a book. It's very interesting. You see, when I read something interesting, where do I say? Sometimes with people like you, young people, young friends. You see, the book writes, a woman can do three things at a time. Like, she can hold a baby, she can prepare tea in the kitchen. She's holding a baby, her two-year-old son, and preparing tea for the husband. The husband is sitting in the drawing room, but she can make out whether the husband is reading a newspaper or a magazine or something else. <laughs> these, these three things she can do, I don't think, you can ask them, but I don't think a man can do it, one.
Second, when a man sleeps, 90% of his neurons sleep. Please mark, when a man sleeps, 90% of his neurons sleep. He sleeps like a log. When the woman sleeps, 60% of her neurons sleep. That is why she is in a more alert position than the man. And that is why the husbands are slightly scared of the wives. Because... <laughs> you see, this is... And uh, third, third, the book writes, and the book writes, you see, we have a neurological, the, we have a brain. It's a neurological field, forget it. Nobody knows where the mind is. But this man is a great thinker. So he says, there are five layers of minds, or let's call it loosely brain. One, intellectual brain, like we are discussing, intelligent brain, emotional brain, instinctual brain, and unifier brain. I'll give you one example, then you can understand the distinction between the man and the lady, or man and woman. Supposing X throwing a ball at you, you will calculate the velocity, the speed, that's your intellectual brain, How, when it is going to hit you. By the time you arrive at your conclusion, the ball has hit you and you are injured. Whereas if you apply your instinctual brain, you will immediately sway away or move away, the ball goes away. Woman has got ten times more instinctual brain than man's intellectual brain. Answer. This is the... I see the... There nobody clapped much here. Possible that they that, are that, developing an idea, I have come to speak about women, it's not that way. What I am trying to emphasize is this. This is a theoretical book a man has written, maybe correct. I am not saying that's a neurological professor. But still, somebody has done some research. This should prompt us to have gender sensitivity, meaning thereby we must respect women. You see, I will quote two passages, I will read out to them. What the Supreme Court said about the victim of rape. Two decisions, but different concepts, different language, different expressions. There's a Joginder saying, a rape or an attempt to rape is crime not against an individual, but a crime which destroys the basic fabric of the society. It really creates a trauma and destroys the identity of a woman who she wants to possess and entitled to possess constitutionally. That is the impact of a rape which insensitive people commit without thinking what's the impact on the other person, how the identity is dented. 